What important procedure might involve a fifth female or a 95th male? I'll say that again. What important procedure might involve a fifth female or a 95th male? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out which went, which between males and females is implied to be more or less important in this question. <laughs> Historically, it turns out that's actually quite a thorny problem, but we'll get onto that later. <laughs> so it, it's a, it's something where there's an order of people. It couldn't be just changing a light bulb. I mean, I imagine it takes far more men to change a light bulb. Than <laughs> so is this something that's happened in historical order, for example? Modern history, this. What does that mean? Like since the, the Romans? Or... <laughs> okay, yeah. maybe given my portentous medieval introduction, I might have set the tone a little bit early. Um, yeah, we're, we're talking kind of 20th century here. So we're, we're not talking about something that's happening simultaneously, like a very large game of football. <laughs> um, I'm going to let you all talk this out for a little while first. Okay, it, it, it can't be a coincidence that these two numbers add up to 100. That seems convenient. Centiles? Yes. Talk to us about what those are. Spot the science communicator in the room. I thought you said centaurs, and that was going to be super interesting. <laughs> centiles? Yes. So if you put anything on a scale, like a per, per centile. So if you put anything on a scale from 1 to 100, uh, the most common ones that I deal in as a healthcare scientist is sort of height or weight. Hmm. You know, I, I, have, I have two small children, and we're always measuring them up against graphs to see how they, how they stack up against society. And yeah, I, I do see those numbers I come up in there. Yeah, this is percentiles. You could also say it's the 5% the female and the 95% male. And this was something that could be improved, sorry, to go back to the original question. An important procedure that might involve them. Okay, so yeah, I mean just measuring someone like if we're height or something like that is not really a procedure no. I mean, i'm sure a doctor would find a way to bill for it but um <laughs> nhs nationalized health but sure <laughs> go with that right i wonder is there something okay i know this is a pg show so, so maybe this isn't the right direction but is this something about reproduction like is this a vasectomy <laughs> where it's like primarily the guy's procedure but the woman is holding her partner's hand in the room. <laughs> I think that's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> You're committing to vasectomy this early. Okay. <laughs> I'm leaning on what I can. I'm I'm going against two experts. <laughs> yeah, but not in vasectomies. Expert in viruses. Uh. <laughs> We're talking, I think, as you suspected here, Joe, about the different weights and sizes. So we are talking the the five percent size. Female and the 95% size male. Okay, this makes me think of, I do know there are many procedures in medicine do depend on the size of the individual. Uh, I'm thinking childbirth, size of babies, uh, but um, also drugs. It's not medical, this procedure. Procedure is a very big catch-all term here that our question writers have used. We're also taking, this is giving us 90%. If we're going with a percentile, we're getting 90% of the population. Of the adult population, yes. Uh, you can actually get various percentages of, of children and elderly people and other groups for this. But the most common usage is, oh, there's a, there's a sudden light on Joe's face there. Okay, this is really weird because I just filmed a video that I don't know if it'll be out by the time this comes out, but it involves destroying things. Yes. Yes, it does. Do you want to talk a little bit more about that one? Because I think you might have just got it. Okay. So um, one of the ways you find out how safe things are is you wreck them. And that is done in cars. Uh, I went to a place where they do this and they showed me crash test dummies. And what really stuck out to me was I was like, what is this one? And they were like, this is the 50th percentile male, like to represent like the most, you know, the median human male on earth. Five foot nine inches tall, 172 pounds. Yes. <laughs> My height is perfect for car crashes. I will take that. And you know when I said that this historically has been quite tricky, that used to be the only model 
that crash test dummies were tested with. The modern standards, as I suspect you worked out, Joe, include testing with the 5% female and the 95% male to see how different body sizes handle crash tests. You are absolutely right. They're called anthropomorphic test devices, crash test dummies. Amazing. Uh, one of the craziest things that came up uh, when I was filming this is that like the the 50th percentile male of the 19... 19- 60s or 70s when these dummies were originated is now like the 50th percentile female because human body shapes are changing so much over time and they they can't keep up we're looking at global percentiles because obviously every country has its own oh yes um there are a lot of variants a lot of things around the world but the the modern procedure is apparently five percent female 95 percent male 